ain't no y'all ain't no shit, bro. Hey, what? Hey, bro, y'all no, niggas ain't no, no shit, bro. No, 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 oh God, y'all no, niggas no, ain't no shit, bro. No, no, Smack no. his ass, bro. Smack his dumb ass. We ain't no y'all ain't no shit, bro. Hey, what? Hey, bro, y'all no, niggas ain't no, no shit, bro. No, 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 oh no, no, God, y'all no, niggas no, ain't no shit, bro. No, Smack no, his no. ass, bro.
Dutchess County, we're learning more about the two teens charged as adults in a deadly shooting in a mall in Hyattsville. On your screen here, Jabri and Jamal Hawkins. The 16-year-old twins are from Northeast D.C. Investigators tell Scott Broom, even at age 16, police have dealt with the two boys a lot. 16-year-old D.C. twins Jabri and Jamar Hawkins have had, quote, numerous contacts with Metropolitan Police, according to court documents in this case. Yet they were armed and roaming with two other boys in a Prince George's County shopping mall Friday night when an argument broke out with another group of four, police reported. Jabri Hawkins is charged with shooting and killing 22-year-old Daquan Dockery, who fired back with his own gun before collapsing inside a store, according to investigators. Jamal aided and fled with his brother, the documents say. Prince George's County investigators reported that several MPD officers knew exactly who the brothers were. When security camera pictures were circulated in the case, the MPD identifications led to the boys' arrest, documents said. Now, juvenile records are sealed, so WUSA 9 cannot report on the nature of the previous contacts the twins have had with MPD. But faced with spikes in violent crime, both MPD Chief Robert Conti and Prince George's County Police Chief Malik Aziz have called this year for more accountability in the juvenile system after the arrests of alleged repeat youth offenders. This afternoon, MPD Executive Assistant Chief Ashan Benedict talked about the issue. So in this particular case, they're working with our commander from the 6th District his patrol officers, looking at what they knew about the community, that they were investigating the people that were operating that community, the drivers of violence. According to the most recent report from D.C.'s Department of Youth Services, keeping offenders at home and making incarceration a response.